What up y'all DC Fago guy today we're gonna be taking a look at Zug Islands 333 their sophomore release their debut release on Axe and Smash Records the subsidiary of Psychopathic Records that was extremely short-lived in fact this is the only album to ever be released on it who knows what happened after that but the subsidiary kind of disappeared and Zug Island went on a very long hiatus so let's go ahead and jump right into this. That is the front. This is kind of a notorious little Zug Island logo now that gets used a lot, which is actually pretty fucking dope. I like that quite a bit. So we'll go ahead. We're going to open it up like so. That is the disc. Again, there you see Axe and Smash Records, which, you know, kind of looking through this, I don't think there's a hatchet man anywhere on here. So, um, I think that was the goal was to kind of have Axe and Smash be the subsidiary that has different rock groups. You know, I don't fully know. I wasn't like heavily following everything in the Hatchet Happenings back in 2004. I was still a fairly new juggalo to the scene. It was very, very heavily focused on just Insane Clown Posse. So my resources and knowledge were extremely limited. So if anybody knows the rundown of what Axe and Smash was supposed to be, what the goal was for that label, leave it down. Uh, school everybody in the comments down below. I will pin your comment because actually I would like to know the story behind that as well. We'll go ahead and pop that off right there. You got the biohazard kind of uh, warning there. If you don't know Zug Island, I mean, if you don't know, most people should know, but Zug Island is named after the island in Detroit, which is an industrial waste zone. So that's kind of like a heavily used artwork. This has the track list. We're not going to go over the track list just yet. We're going to open her up like so. This is fold out like so. We'll just kind of show everything here. I think this is just supposed to be like songs that have, have been written and then scrapped, you know, balled up. The life of a musician trying to write music. Flip it over. There you have, again, the kind of the track lists here. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is the this is the credits. The credits, my friends. Cuckoo. So that's everything there is. To the book we will go ahead we will close this up and we will flip her over and get to the track list which is everything taken still can't find you take it from me Saved. You have saved my love. Saved my love. Virgo's tail. Leave it, don't lie. Just let it go to sleep. Now we just got one life. Hate. I did so much more from this. Nothing shallow place for you to find what you need. There's nothing there. Feel I just have to ask you one more time. Did I make you feel life? You're all alone, you die alone, and still live. Yesterday's a memory Live We live and shine well now We live and We live and We live Virgo 
Crow's Tale the Remix. Now we just got one life. Let it rain, but don't cry. So everything on here I love except for, and I don't know why this is, and I think this is probably what turned me off to Zug Island for many, many years. Because if you guys remember when I kind of mentioned it a little bit in my Cracked Tiles review, I had heard of a little bit of Zug Island through Psychopathics from Outer Space Part 2, but the two songs that they had on there was Why and Live, which is actually... Uh, we Live is the version, the, this is the title they went by on, um, on Psychopathics, from, uh, Psychopathics from Outer Space Part 2. That was the title was We Live. On here it should simply Live. So uh, I don't know why I don't really care for Live. I just, I don't know. <laughs> why I always kind of liked when I heard it on uh, Psychopathics from Outer Space. But I don't know. I never really cared for We Live. So everything on here I really like. I, I really love the feel of Zug Island. It's it, This particular album kind of strays away from the sound on Cracked Tiles. And maybe that's what maybe that's what caused Zug Island to become kind of more of a cult favorite. It, it, it strayed away from the sounds that Cracked Tiles had. And this went more towards rock. And, and, and in sort of in a way, and if I remember correctly, Sin said in, in an interview with Fago Lovers that he kind of has always been all about, you know, love songs and stuff like that, which there are actually two love songs on here. Kind of, sort of three. Saved could kind of, I guess, be classified as a love song. I mean, the whole chorus is saved by love, you know, um, you and feel being the other two. Um, so... I don't know. I really think it's good. My absolute favorite standout tracks. I like Saved. Saved is the shit. Taken's pretty good. I like You. Again, I said I do like Why. Uh, feel. Really touching fucking song. Um, you know, if people know kind of my situation with Megs, you know, we kind of went through a breakup recently. And uh, th this song, when I when when I first listened to it, we were getting we were in the process of getting back together, and like rekindling everything and working shit out. But it was still kind of like f fresh in my mind and fresh in my heart, like it had just happened recently. Even though everything was good by the time I listened to this, so this song made me reminisce to when everything wasn't good. <laughs> And it was like, fuck, where was this song nine months ago when I really needed you? So, uh, all in all, I really like this album. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it hit as well for a lot of Juggalos as Cracked Tiles did. You tell me. You leave your thoughts down below. What did you think of this album, 333? I think it's really good. It was a very good, solid release. Only the one song I skip, Live. I don't know why. I just never really cared for it. I didn't care for it when I heard it on Psychopathics from Outer Space Part 2. But I definitely think it's worth picking up if you don't have it. Um, give it a listen if you're new to Zug Island. If you're like me and you're still fairly new to Zug Island. Um, you know, they were kind of a cult classic back in the day. And, and maybe that's kind of what has happened to them now. I don't know. Anyway, leave your thoughts down below. Tell me what you think. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.